hot. <laughs> I'm Kristen. I'm Carly. And we decided that we're going to show you our two BRs from now TBR. until. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to show our TBRs from now till June. Mm -hmm. And we have a, quite a few on there. Mm -hmm. So this Don't is, know if yeah. we're going to read them all. On, this is a stretch. It's a sure. big stretch. I see her like books over there and it's like a lot. I, and that's not even all of them, because mm -mm. I'm reading some on my Kindle. Are you, do you have any on your iPad? Yeah. Well, all of the, I, well. <laughs> so, from now until June, um, I want to finish the Zodiac Academy series. Um, so, right now, I've read one through four of Zodiac Academy, and then I'm doing, like, the recommended read, where I read those, and then the Ruthless Boys series. Which I did not do. Carly has I didn't already even read. Know that was a thing. Yeah, Carly already read the Zodiac Academy books, but she didn't read those. Um, the Ruthless Boys, yeah. Right. So I read one through four, and then on Ruthless Boys, I have finished one and two, and then I'm currently reading number three. So for that to be completed, I'll have to read Broken Fae and Warrior Fae. Which are those the last two? Those are the last two of the Ruthless Boys. Boys. And then after that, <clears throat> I will read, what is this, 0. 0.5, technically? No, it goes along with one. No, 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 this it's is like 1.5. the same thing. And then 0. 0.5 is like the Academy Bully or something. Yeah. So I'll have to read this one and that one. And then I will pick up with five. Six, seven, and eight. You're not ready. I'm not ready. I'm actually terrified. We're on a Facebook group. What's it called? It's just the one for Caroline and Suzanne's uh, Facebook group for all right. of Zodiac Academy fans. I'm on there, and they honestly make it seem really scary. Not scary like uh, like horror scary, but like my heart is going to be broken scary. I bawled my eyes out at the end of this book. And then this book, and then this book. Yeah, so Carly has already read all these. And she's, like, not telling me really any spoilers. I actually don't think I know any for the rest of the books. No, because at first she was like, I don't think I'm well, going to read them. Well, I know the one about Gabriel. Yeah, but that one's, like, a very small, minor. Well, that one I feel like they're giving a lot of context clues, especially in Ruthless Boys. Yeah. So I feel like anybody could really already see this coming. Mm -hmm. Um... So that is what I will be focusing on first. <clears throat> so before I start any other books, this whole series is what I will be finishing first. So my next reads, which I didn't even have it pulled up, so let me pull it up. Love that you're prepared. What's it called? I don't know what you're talking about. Devil's Night. So why'd you ask what it was called? Which Okay. So for me, I'm going to start out the Devil's Night series because Kristen read it and she told me that like the top two series that I really need to start reading were Satan's Affair. No, no, no. The Cat and Mouse duet. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's a duet. But there's a novella. I don't yeah. Know. Well, there's like two main books and then the novella. Yeah. So I, I j I'm about to finish the Cat and Mouse mm -hmm. series, but then she was like, then you got to do Devil's Night. I'm going to start with Corrupt by Penelope Douglas, which I read Credence by Penelope Douglas, and I absolutely hated it. Um, Credence is a whole different story, which if you read it, it's either like one or the other, like how people feel. You either like love it and you thought the spies was like perfect, or you thought it was like went way too like far inappropriate. and inappropriate, and that's how I felt. So reading it for me was uncomfortable. After that, I was like, I don't really want to read anything from Penelope Douglas. So, But this... I read all of these already and I love them and there was really no parts that I felt were like too inappropriate or like what was what was it what's it called when you're like with somebody in your family oh like <laughs> what's that called? <laughs> what <is> it called? <laughs> incest incest love that um yeah because when I read Credence, like, that's the vibe I got from it was, like, even though they're not blood, they still... Because wasn't it, like, an uncle They're cousins. Thing? Yes, it's her uncle, his sons, which would be her cousins. Mm. 
and I hated it. I, I hated it. Right. it I have so rent credence. I don't think I will, honestly, but I, I love Penelope Douglas's like this series. Like Devil's Night, yeah. I loved. Yeah. Which, how many books is that? It's four main books and then two novellas. So. Okay. So I'm going to tackle that first. I'm literally like 75% um, through um, Hunting Adeline, which is the last book of that series. So once I'm done with that, I'll pick up Corrupt. I'm going to finish this series. So I've got the other two up there. What series What's is that called? One? The Terms and Conditions? No, like the... It's not... It's like... Dreamland Billionaires. That's what the whole series is actually called. That's what called. it's called? Literally. It's like these brothers. I would think like the term series. No. Or something like, I don't know. Because it's basically these brothers. There's three brothers. They're all obviously rich. And their parents and grandparents owned a amusement park called Dreamland. And in order to get their inheritance, they have to like fulfill their grandfather's dying wishes. And so each of them have a dying wish that their grandfather. I feel like you summarized that so well. I am literally doing so good. Yeah, if you're no, doing I know. great. So, um, I've already read the first two, and so I will be reading this one next. I have it. I'm ready. Um, I don't love the series, but I'm slightly OCD, and so I already have the other two, so I might as well just finish it yeah. and have, like, the complete collection. After I do the Devil's Night series... Mm -hmm. I have to really decide what I want to do after that. That, yeah. Because. It's big. So, of course we read Akatar. I feel like we wouldn't be, like, good, like, fantasy romance readers if we didn't read that. Yeah. So, everybody's saying, uh, you have to do Crescent City and Throne of Glass, like, that whole thing, because apparently they're all going to connect at some point. So, I read Throne of Glass a couple months ago, and then I picked up the new covers, um, for the series so I got crown of midnight and then someone said that I should read crown of midnight and then assassin's blade to like explain her situation growing up and why she's an assassin so what is um, that like a prequel yes it's like it's just her oh, story. it says novellas it literally says novellas on the front throne of glass novellas and that one's a novel. I guess it's a novella, but I'm going to be real. Novellas are supposed to be, like, smaller. <laughs> and they're, they're the same size. No, that one's smaller. The whole Crown of that novel. is smaller. Yeah. Well, it's like that whole book is a whole bunch of novellas and not just one, maybe. Because it says novellas. Yes. Okay, in the back. It's like a collection? Which I didn't know this. It says, included in this volume, the assassin and the pirate lord, the assassin and the healer. The Assassin and the Desert, The Assassin and the Underworld, The Assassin and the Empire. I thought that said dessert and I thought that says underwear. <laughs> so I guess there's like, what is that? Five novellas in one. Makes sense. I've never seen anybody do it this way, but I guess it makes sense. So, so yeah, I'm going to tackle these two after Devil's Night. So you're starting with that, like that you're for sure. Yeah, because... Okay, Sarah J. Mass. Everybody's been saying she's putting out another book this year. And did you see the Crescent City thing? No. The third Crescent City she just released on some other website, like over in the UK. It's coming out next year, so that's literally the next book is Crescent City three. Well, everybody knew that because she literally was like, "I'm not doing Avatar," and Throne of Glass was supposed to be done, and then she just announced that you know, actually, I don't think I actually want it to be done. Yeah. So. She, I knew she was going to do another Crescent City, but I didn't know it was going to come out. I thought it would come out later this year. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be splitting up the Throne of Glass series? Because you also have other stuff that you want to read. But if you read these two, are you going to go read other stuff or are you going to try to finish it? Yeah, I'm going to split it up. Okay. Just because Throne of Glass is a, like, monster of a series. It really is. See, that's why I don't know if I will. I think when I tackle it, I'm going to do it all. I want to be, like, in it. That's what I'm doing with those don't like that it's YA. I'm just not that type of person. When I read YA, I feel like I'm 15 again. So I don't know if I could set aside <laughs> that huge amount of time. <laughs> Gross. I don't know if I could set aside that much time to go through the series because I think I'm going to start missing like my romance <coughs> novels or like my sense. thriller novels. I forgot it was YA to be honest. Yeah, it freaking sucks. I don't know why she would do Avatar. Well, somebody said that, like, eventually there's a little bit of romance at the very end of the mm -hmm. series, but I don't know which books, and I also don't think it's, like, 
Akatar vibes. I think it's no. like little hints here and there. It's like they kissed mm. and mm -hmm. drifted off into the night. And then you're just supposed to put two and two together that something happened. Interesting. And so then I'm not doing Throne of Glass yet because I, I don't really think I'm ready. I think <laughs> like this whole situation with Zodiac Academy is like pulling a lot. And I feel like it is so long that I don't want to jump into another long series like that. So I'm going to do Crescent City. I haven't read it yet. Um, Good luck. Honestly, I am really debating because I am not an audiobook person. I hate audiobooks. I don't like them at all. I don't like the way, like, every time I've ever tried to listen to one, the person that is reading it, like, their voice is not at all what I imagine. Yeah. And so then I'm sitting there and I'm really not listening to it and I hate it. And I'm just not an audiobook person. So I'm going to try my very hardest to get through this, like, by myself just reading it. If I can't, I will try the audiobook version because I, I know it'll be worth it to end up reading it. But... I want to read it really badly. I'm just really scared. Everyone on TikTok is scaring me because they're acting like, they, they act like this whole part of the book is worthless and then this <laughs> is where it gets good. Like that's what people act like and I really- That's what it is. Because everyone says it's a lot of world building, which I get that. I just don't want to be bored because- Once you finish that and then we get through the second Crescent City, we should film a review because I have a lot of thoughts on that book, but I don't want to say it in this video. But, well, I don't want you to spoil it. Yeah, me. I don't want to spoil it either, but it's just, that book was, like, rough for me. And I love Sarah J. Mass. I read the entire Akatar series, like, all the way through. That was, like, the one series that got me into reading again. Like, so, this is first. Obviously, after I finish this, I will, well, this, this is going to be, like, my next. Yeah, so, like, we'll group this together. This is what I'll read after that, and this is what Carly will yes. read after Throne of Glass. So, after Throne of Glass, I'm going to jump into this one. I've had this book, like, sitting with me for, like, how many months? Like, what? Like, seven or eight? You bought it, like, a long time ago. I bought it a long time ago. But here's Which the Which I hate because that's soft and that's hard. I and know. It really pisses Honestly, me off. it really annoys me. But I don't think she's come out with the, the um, paperbacks yet. So, I had to get the hard. But here's the thing. I was, like, in the middle of Crescent City where I was like, ah, it could take a turn. It could get really good. So I went ahead and bought this one because it just came out. Well, we went to Barnes, which we do every week. <laughs> and she had just come out with them and there was like one or two left. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to pick it up. So I picked it up and I never picked it up again because I literally <laughs> have not read it. So after Throne of Glass, I'm gonna read it. Sarah J. Mass lately, she's been she's been writing a lot and writing like not anything at the same time. Like mm. that's so how she's saying a lot, was. but it's really saying nothing. Looking at the size of it, like seventy five percent of this book is probably gonna be worthless, and then twenty five percent is gonna be like intense. So after Throne of Glass, I'm reading this, and then after Crescent City, Kristen's reading this. Yeah. If I have some time in between, or, you know, all this to, like, let's be honest, this is subject to change. If these, <laughs> if these Zodiac yeah. Academy books don't fulfill me the way that I need to, these, this order will change. Um, and I have a couple of books that, like, I've wanted to read for a long time. I've been holding on to them. If those books aren't good, I will pick up Isolation. We'll show. This is not an official cover. This can't be an official cover. Isolation, which is... It was a fanfic, right? And it was Germany. It was on Wattpad, right? I think so. Yeah. So it's a Germany fanfic. Um, I want to read that one. I don't know if I will, but I also want to read this one. And I have no idea how to say this title. Manacled. Manacled. Mm -hmm. um, they're both Germany fanfics. I just don't know which one I would want to do first because honestly, this one looks better. Just I like the that cover. it has its own cover. Right. Rather than the this other one, one looks is like definitely copyright violations has to be. Yeah. Um look at that. They put their names, Tom Felton and Emma Watson. <laughs> like as if they're like actually in it. Um, yeah. So I do wanna read those eventually. I don't know if I will. It depends I mean, where I'm setting myself up really big here. Yeah, for all the way till June. The well, hold up the Zodiac Academy pile because I mean it is a well, monster. And we're missing one. The the we're origins of the... a bully or whatever the freaking heck it yeah. is. This whole pile. 
<laughs> um, so, I mean, I've got a lot to read. Mm -hmm. That's just if I am not feeling these books or if I have, like, extra time. I also have two fillers that where, like, mm -hmm. if I get bored with anything that I'm reading and I just need something different. So, um, Kristen doesn't read, like, thrillers. I don't think at all. I am not a thriller. Well, this is what I will say. I was not a thriller person, but I would, personally, I would define the cat and mouse duet as a thriller, romance, all of it. Yeah. That's why I told Carly to read it, because Carly does like thrillers. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this has, like, everything. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. So maybe I will read thrillers eventually, but mm, I'd rather just read a romance or fantasy or something. I get that, but, like... Adding in thrillers every once in a while, like, honestly, makes reading way more enjoyable. Because it's just different genres where it's, like, I don't know. Because it's it's always on, like, mind fuck. Fuck. Mind fuck. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, there's always, like, this crazy ending. The end, yeah. Yes. So, for thrillers, I have The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. I read The Maidens. I really liked that one. Um, but I also am, like, such a big fan of Riley Sager. I, like, have read most of Riley Sager's books, except for, like, one or two. Um, so I'll read that one, like, as a filler whenever I need it. And then also I got Twisted, which is the A Never After novel. I have read all of the other novels for this, like, collection. And I didn't even know this one existed. Because they didn't have it at our barns for, like, ever. So literally, we looked. Up I the, didn't even know it existed. We literally looked up the series, and this is like it was three. just sitting there on the website or whatever it was, and I had never seen it before. She had never no. seen it before, and we were so confused because I literally have never seen it. Mm. And then all of a sudden, we went to Barnes the next week, and it was because there. I think we were googling like I was googling just to make sure I there was one coming out in the future. And then when I googled it, it was like this was number two or three, and the last one she came out with was Wretched, and I already read that one, so. This will be another filler. I love these. I think they're so, like, they're fast reads for me because it, they're just completely different. But also it's taking a spin off of, like, these, like, Disney or childhood, like, familiar stories. How many books is that total? So six, eight, nine, eleven. Honestly, props to the girls that are like, I read 30 books this month. I'm like, I literally don't know how you do that and mm. function. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, because the other novella, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven I books. I have eleven! Uh, okay. Oh um, so yeah, we're definitely going to beat our reading goal. If we, if we get through all of eleven, I don't think we will. I think we can do it. Honestly, I think I've got a really good chance because Zodiac Academy, I'm not going to lie, I'm flying through it. I, I'd read every single day at this point just to get to these books. And I think that, I think it's doable, honestly. I think the ones that I might not get to are probably the Germani romances yeah. and all of that. I'm excited for you to catch up to see what's happening because originally Caroline and Suzanne said that there were only going to be um, eight. Yeah. Eight books, which doesn't make sense to me because Zodiacs, there's like 12 Zodiac signs and each book is like oh, there are 11 aries oh cancer God. taurus capricorn capricorn sagittarius. cancer sagittarius scorpio virgo libra virgo libra aquarius pisces um do we get leo no that's it there's 12. 12 so okay so there's 12 zodiac signs i thought they would try to get it to where it was like 12 books honestly 12 i didn't make sure because as somebody who again a slightly ocd self-diagnosed that why would you yeah. have the zodiac signs on the books and then not even do all of the zodiac signs it started out somewhat like harry, harry potter. potter yeah which the first book was like i could totally see that because when you're reading you're like yeah. this is like the themes of harry potter but as the story goes on it is not Harry Potter. No. Like, it is, it's turned into, like, a whole story and world of its own. Yeah. And so, they said there was only going to be eight, because Harry Potter, there's only eight. Then they came out and said when that one was being released, they said, actually, just kidding, we thought the story wasn't done yet. A ninth one's coming out. You want to do a, uh, like, a kind of a, um, like, from here to June, we'll do, like, a mid 
wrap up to see how much we've actually finished. Yeah. So what month is that? Mm, uh -huh. <laughs> um, April. April. May. May. It'd be the end of April. End of April. So by the end of April, early May, we'll post a video talking about our progress of where we've gotten with all of these books. Because 11 books and... And if we think stuff will change. I mean, the order might change of everything. Yeah. We might actually... And there might I'm be saying, a book on TikTok. 11 books in like three months. You know what? You know what? I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to stretch myself a little too thin. Because now that I'm really thinking about it, I've only read seven and it's March. That's three months. We're going to try. I'm telling you right now, though, if this one holds me back, I will skip it. And I stand by that. Yeah. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like all the YouTube girlies say. Um, and just let us know what you're planning on reading for the next few months. Honestly, yeah, because if, if there's something that we don't enjoy the way that we think we're going to enjoy it, I'll we'll pick something. Out. Yeah, we'll switch books out immediately. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye. Oh,